we all know about these deadly creatures don't we yes they are dinosaurs these reptiles have ruled our planet earth for a very long period of time in the past and then they became extinct do you know one of the major causes behind the extinction of these species is volcano there was a sudden volcanic eruption around 60 to 65 million years ago in the deccan plateau region of india this sudden volcanic eruptions triggered successive climate change and eventually led to the extinction of these species. So now let us study about this natural phenomena which is volcanism. We just now watched an interesting video on volcano. So now let us understand the meaning of a volcano. So what is a volcano? A volcano is an opening in the earth's surface through which hot molten materials, ash and gases escape. See here we have a picture of a volcano and from this picture we can see that when a volcano erupts hot molten materials come out and also ash and gases come out through a volcano. So this type of structure is called a volcano and it is a natural phenomena through which hot molten rocks come out to the earth's surface. Now people in ancient times believed that volcanoes were created by God or in other words volcano is an act of God. So they named this natural phenomena after Vulcan who is the Roman god of fire and hence this natural phenomena is called a volcano. Now the branch of geological science that deals exclusively with the study of volcanoes is called volcanology. So the scientific study of volcanoes is called volcanology. So volcanology deals with all the aspects of volcanic activities like how are they formed, their distribution and classification. They also deal with the structures and materials that are ejected by a volcano. So now before we move on, can you help me to answer this question? What is the scientific study of volcanoes called? Geology, biology, zoology or volcanology? Well, the correct answer is volcanology because volcanology is a scientific study of volcanoes. Now, the journey of a volcano begins deep inside the earth where core is present. The core can burn as hard as the sun's surface and they transfer this heat to the adjoining rocks. So due to this excessive heat, the adjoining rocks melt and this molten rock is called magma. Now magma is lighter than the surrounding rocks so they rise up and due to excessive pressure when they rise up they try to escape through cracks or vents present on the earth's surface and therefore they erupt as a volcano and this is how a volcano is formed. So we just now learned that volcanoes are formed due to endogenic forces or forces acting beneath the earth's surface. In fact, a volcanic activity is closely associated with movement of tectonic plates. Due to excessive temperature and pressure beneath the earth's surface, the tectonic plates move. The heavier plates subduct while the less dense plates rise up. And due to this constant interaction of tectonic plates, cracks or faults develop on the earth's surface. Now due to excessive pressure, magma tries to escape through these cracks leading to the formation of a volcano. So we just understood how a volcano is formed. Now let us learn about various parts of a volcano. The source of a volcano is the magma chamber present beneath the earth's surface. So what is a magma? A magma is a reservoir of molten rocks and gases present beneath the earth's surface and these molten rocks tries to escape through cracks or 
pipes or passage this crack or pipe is called a conduit the weak spot or the opening on the earth's crust through which a volcano erupt is called a vent now a hollow depression caused due to eruption of a volcano is called a crater now can you see a hot fluid coming out of a volcano do you know what it is called the hot burning fluid or the stream of molten rocks that comes out of a volcano is called lava so lava is the hot burning liquid that comes out of a volcano now apart from hot burning liquid one can also find a cloud of volcanic gases just above a volcano this is known as ash cloud it contains water vapor carbon dioxide and compounds of chlorine and sulfur thus ash cloud is a mixture of different gases now these gases are hazardous and can lead to climate change now apart from these two we can also find fragmented pieces of rocks mixed with hot gases coming out of a volcano and this is known as pyroclasts now pyroclasts are generally found when the vent or the opening of a volcano collapses and fragments of rocks and hot gases run down the slope of a volcano thus these are the different products of a volcano lava is in liquid state as it is a stream of molten rocks the next one is ash cloud and it is in gaseous state as it is a combination of different gases and finally pyroclast is a combination of rock particles and different gases now till now you must have noticed that i have defined magma and lava as the same thing that is both are molten rocks however both are not the same and there is a distinction between magma and lava so now let us discuss the differences between them magma is a chamber of molten rocks trapped beneath the earth's surface while lava is a stream of molten rocks and dissolved gases that come out to the earth's surface during a volcanic eruption so the molten rocks is called magma when they are present beneath the earth's surface while the molten rocks is known as lava when they come out to the earth's surface so today in this video we understood the meaning of a volcano what is a volcano it is a opening on the earth's surface through which hot molten materials and gases come out we also studied about the formation of volcano we learned that volcanoes erupt when due to tectonic movements magma chamber gets exposed and they erupt as a volcano then we learned about various parts of a volcano and different products of a volcano and finally we understood the difference between magma and lava in our next video we will study about different classifications of volcano don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon you can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the delta step app to learn one to one with our amazing teachers or to get access to our 5000 amazing videos as per your school syllabus master each topic with our adaptive practice technology get million plus questions with step by step solutions and unlimited mock tests get all your doubt resolved instantly learn via games and win amazing prizes like playstations and ipads so at delta step learning is not just fun and easy but it's rewarding too so register for free now